What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're watching this on the day that it's posted, I hope you guys had a fabulous Thanksgiving with all of your friends, your family, your loved ones. I hope you ate tons of delicious vegan Thanksgiving meals and wholesome foods. I know I did. <laughs> I'm still full. Also, the exciting thing about today is that it is Black Friday. If you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that this is the biggest sale we do all year. So if you've been wanting any of our books, this is the time to get them. From today until Tuesday, all of our recipe ebooks will be 50% off on our website. You can get my best-selling weight loss guide and meal plan, Leaning Clean, for only $14. My Let's Get Saucy ebook that has over 55 vegan sauce recipes is only five bucks this week. Our epic vegan Instant Pot pressure cooking book is only eight bucks. And my first book that I ever wrote, Real Food, Real Simple, that has over 80 delicious whole foods, plant-based recipes, is only nine bucks this week. Or if you want them all, you can get them all for like 34 bucks. It's a good deal. And if you already have all of our books, I know a lot of people love to give them to their family and friends for Christmas, just because it is a totally zero waste product and it's helping people get healthy in the new year. If you're interested in any of that, I will leave the link down below. Like I said, today, is when the sale starts. Everything will be 50% off until Tuesday. So get it while you can. Today I'm just gonna be doing a what I eat in a day video. So my diet has gotten very simple. And the reason for that is because I am really finding like bliss and simplicity lately. Being a recipe blogger, it's very easy to just get really carried away with tons and tons and tons of different foods and different recipes and different things all the time and I find that I just don't do super well with that. I do really well with consistency, you know, having the same meals the most of the time and I'm doing really well lately with having a really big green smoothie right for breakfast after I go for a run because I just started running and I've been running three miles every single day. I like run walk but sooner or later I'll be able to run them straight and um it's just a really great way to hydrate and then i have like a huge salad um if i get hungry like during the day i'll just snack on something simple like rice cakes or nuts and then for dinner dinners are kind of different but it's usually been something like with potatoes just because every time i eat potatoes i feel super satisfied they're always delicious i can use different things with them like either throw them in a salad or have them with a soup or have some really delicious dipping sauce for them, have them with steamed vegetables. And I just find that they digest really well for me. And I really highly recommend this to anybody. If you're having trouble losing weight, if you're having like digestion issues or issues with other things in your body, um, try to just really simplify the food that you're eating. Find, you know, five or six recipes that you really, really enjoy and just eat those every single day. And it makes things really easy because I know every time I make this smoothie that it's gonna be delicious. I know that my salad's gonna taste good. I know that my dinner is gonna be really filling and it's not this guessing game and it's not trying to like learn all these new things all the time. So with all of that said, let's just jump into what I've been eating lately. My smoothies, I always start with a ton of greens. So today I'm using three to four cups of baby spinach and I like to do this because I think smoothies are a really great way to get nutrition in. I also added in one frozen banana and also some frozen mango that I chopped up for sweetness and then I also like to add in either a tablespoon of chia seeds, hemp seeds, or flax seeds and I just switch them around because they're really packed with nutrients. And then I just add a cup of almond milk in here to make it really creamy. The base of these smoothies typically stays the same. I'm always adding in some type of green, some type of fruit for sweetness, some type of seed for nutrition. Sometimes I will switch it up and add like protein powder or maca powder or cacao powder. It just kind of depends on what I'm feeling that day. But I honestly have just like really been loving this. I don't even really think of it as a meal. I just think of it as like a supplement, a nutrition shake but it's also super delicious and it really does fill me up. For my lunch salads, I really like to bulk prep certain things. So I've been taking quinoa recently and just throwing it in my Instant Pot for one minute and it cooks up super fast and then I just keep it in a mason jar, add it to my salads. And then for the base of my salads, I usually use an entire head of romaine, my quinoa, black beans, 
tomatoes, onions, and some avocado. I'll add in like other types of greens from my garden, so either spinach or kale, and just use my kitchen shears to get it really finely chopped up because I feel like salads are just better when they're finely chopped up. And then I just add in the rest of my ingredients. Like I said, sometimes they do change. Like I'll switch up the beans and use chickpeas or I'll use lentils. And then this is my cashew sour cream recipe that's in my Let's Get Saucy book. And I just always like to add in some type of lime or lemon for extra sweetness. And then usually some herbs as well. So like cilantro or basil or something like that. But I've been loving these salads. They're really filling and they're just super full of nutrients. While I prep dinner, I always drink some kombucha. I just made a video on my vlog channel showing you guys how I make kombucha at home. It's super simple and I'll leave that recipe link down below for you guys if you're interested in making it yourself. Today I'm actually not having potatoes. I'm making this really delicious mac and cheese recipe that I wanted to get on my blog for the holidays for you guys. But basically you just take some onions, garlic, saute it until it's nice and fragrant. I like to use this green lentil pasta because the ingredients are just green lentils and it's really high in protein. It's really easy to digest and just really good for you. So while that is cooking, I'm gonna make my sauce. I just add in my sauteed onion and garlic some cashews that I've soaked in water which helps them to blend better and then some spices I also cooked some potatoes to add into here so I'm just adding those in I just steam them for 10 minutes in my instant pot and then blend all that together this is like the best mac and cheese recipe ever and it makes a lot so I actually take the extra and I just use it as a dipping sauce for potatoes so I only added in about half of the actual recipe that you'll see on the blog to the pasta and then I just like to add a little bit of these gluten-free chickpea crumbs. They're just like breadcrumbs but without the gluten. And try this recipe. It's really, really good. I am going to make it for Christmas this year. I cannot wait. But that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, if you haven't yet, check out the Black Friday sale and all of the links to the recipes are down below on my blog.